Hey everybody, uh, another Olympic video. I was watching uh, the figure skating women's free skate last night, and of course the big controversy over that is the doping scandal involving uh, Camila Vilieva. She was the favorite for a gold, and she was allowed to compete despite having tested positive for a banned substance. And uh, pretty much everybody said that that was a, a bad call on the part of the, uh, the Olympic officials. That um, you test positive, you don't compete is the rule and has been the rule for years. And so it sort of seemed like they were making an exception for her. But it turned out to be kind of a moot point because uh, I guess all the, the pressure and stuff had gotten to her and she really messed up her performance badly. She fell several times and basically took herself out of contention, which um, is probably best for everybody. I mean, yeah, you can criticize the Olympic officials and, you know, What's done is done. They allowed her to compete, but allowing her to compete didn't get her anything. So, um, you know, it works out. And they're, they're I guess, going to have to clarify that rule for next time or something. But even more interesting than all of that are Johnny Weir's outfits. Now, Johnny Weir has been, ever since he was actively competing... Uh, very flamboyant with his costumes. This flamboyance has extended into his television appearances. Uh, he, they bring him on to comment on skating, which uh, I got to say, I like his commentary. Um, he, he knows a lot about the technical specifics of the sport. And he's very good at, at breaking that down. They also have Tara Lipinski on, um, and, and she's equally well-versed. Um, and so the two of them can really elucidate the finer points of the sport for those of us who only watch it every four years and, you know, don't know the difference between an axle and a cell cow or, or whatever. Anyway, every time they cut back to the studio and you see Johnny... He's wearing something absurd. Last night when they were commenting on the doping scandal, he was wearing about the most conservative outfit I've seen him wear so far. And un unfortunately, I couldn't find a picture of it. Uh, but it was, you know, it was a pair of leather pants and a fairly ornate jacket. But it was, it was basically a flamboyant, sport jacket outfit. It was not something way off the wall that you look at and you go, what the hell is that? Um, but I did collect some pictures of some of the outfits that he's worn. And uh, I, I think they're worth taking a look at. So uh, yeah, let's take a look at those. So first off, we have this which is, um, as far as I can figure out, I, I can't tell if it's a jacket with fuzzy sleeves or a vest over a shirt with fuzzy sleeves. Um, but this is, uh, I'd say, one of his more conservative outfits. Now this one, um, Tara has been doing her best to keep up with him, but, uh, you know. Where Johnny's concerned, that's that's very difficult. So this is, uh, I, I don't know, a, 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 a long version of an ugly Christmas sweater. I, I'm not sure what's going on there, but um, it's fantastic, whatever it is. I, I don't even know what to say about this one. The headdress, the sheer sleeve, it's... It's pure Johnny, and no one else could possibly pull it off. Now, trust me when I tell you that if you didn't actually watch this on TV, if you haven't seen this outfit before, 
you are not ready for it. This one was my absolute favorite. Um, I, I don't know what to say about it, just that it's incredible. So there you have it. That's my uh, Olympic video for the day. I hope you enjoyed seeing the many styles of Johnny Weir. I can only hope they bring him back for the next Olympics because... He's so much on the cutting edge of fashion that you'd probably bleed if you touched him. All right. Have a great day. I'll see you all in the next one. Graham O'Keefe signing off. Bye.